Okay, let's talk about workflow. We have tasks set up on BAT. As you know, everything you do, you can set up as a task. Somebody phones you, you can say, oh, that's a task, This, and you can allocate it to people around your office. What we don't have, or didn't have until today, is a workflow, so a flow of tasks, which you can give to one person, very simply. We all work in remote offices now with remote staff. We need to be able to allocate tasks to individual members of staff and just let them follow a system, which partly you create, partly the system is there to create it for you. You press workflow. Here are some templates if you want, or you can go to edit one. If we just look at the templates, okay, we've got one for new client onboarding, one for new business, provide, sending a provider application, just transferring the servicing on a customer, or you can just, or you can scroll right down and you can create your own and create a test. And uh, let's say the uh, workflow is just to uh, um, delivering post. Uh, in the old, old days when everybody got lots of post, You'd uh, write down, go to the post office, post the letter, return to the desks. Okay, so you, you could allocate that. It's a silly example, but uh, there you go. And it's and it's in there as a workflow template. Now you can go to the workflow in in uh, in activity, so to speak. And uh, there's there's the actual ac activity, but it's broken down into a, a flow of work: initial meeting, send a letter of authority, and so on. Press enable. Okay, and you enable the dates here. You assign it to put people around your office. So if that person does the initial meeting, somebody else sends the letter of authority. That's how you do that. You haven't completed that yet. That's the attachment. So if you want the letter and so on. The key is that it's editable by you. All the documents are recorded against the individual uh, action. And uh, you can group these actions. You can move them up or down um, accordingly. And most important of all, you can allocate the time, the time spent here, the view details of the time, and you can add the time spend per client in there. It's a very simple tool. It's very editable, which is the point uh, for you and how you want to run your business. And uh, I commend it to you as a, as a, for an IFA practice management system.